Football news, Georgia Southern has temporarily suspended practice after a small number of players tested positive for COVID-19 this week. All proper procedures and protocols are being followed according to the school, including the quarantining of close contacts. Prior to this, the Eagles had not had any issues, and they say they are still looking forward to kickoff on September 12th. Marvin James talked with the team about the upcoming season. When college football kicks off in September, Georgia Southern will be only one of five NCAA programs across the Peach State that will line up and compete in the fall, while others opt out due to the coronavirus. But for the players who are all in, they are focused on getting work done. I feel the best I've ever felt. I feel good running the ball. I feel good throwing the ball. I'm talking to my boys. It's my inner circuit. They feel good. We're ready to play. But it's hard to avoid the elephant in the room when it comes to COVID-19 concerns. Georgia Southern Sun Belt Conference mate and rival Georgia State received a reality check when a freshman quarterback was diagnosed with a heart condition as a result of contracting the coronavirus and won't be able to play football this season. Eagles head coach Chad Lunsford says he is most concerned about player safety and notices the players are as well. You know, I'm not allowed to talk about test results or anything like that, but what I will say about this is it shows that we're doing the right thing here. Uh, our test results prove that what we're doing uh, in the weight room, in the meeting rooms, out on the field, and then what our guys are doing outside of the facility, uh, really our, our guys were, I, I mean, I can't say enough about them uh, because those results show what they really want to do. It's the same scenario and concerns for UGA in Athens, Georgia Tech in Atlanta, and Mercer right here in Macon. But the Eagles say when it comes to kickoff, pandemic aside, they like their chances of competing on Saturdays in the borough. We have a lot of older guys, so a lot of, a lot of leadership coming in, but also we, we, we have uh, experience. So we played, played with each other for a good, good bit of time, so we're just ready to actually get in and, and, and get get the fast pace going. Very excited about where this team's heading. Still got a lot of work to do, uh, but I do think their heart and minds are in the right place right now. And more recently, Georgia Southern approved the plan to begin the 2020 season with up to 25% capacity crowd, which means a max of 6,200 fans at each of the six home games this fall at Paulson Stadium. So the players won't have the 25,000 plus they are used to, but they say they will be prepared to GATA their opponent. The power parts is not going to be the normal power of parts, so we got to focus on bringing our own energy. Like Coach Lunford always say, energy over emotion. And we got to focus on, you know, coming out every day and, and, and being that energy for ourselves because we know things aren't going to be the same, so we got to create it on our own. We got three more weeks, and uh, we got to make sure our, our bodies and, and, and we're in shape enough to go play 60 or plus minutes, whatever we have to do to win a football game. So I think the guys are coming around good, and I, I am uh, very pleased with their physicality today. In Statesboro, Marvin James, 13 WMAZ Sports.